how it got all the pieces for his subframe for the second gen SV650 water jet cut. They came out so clean, so he's just working on bending them all up, kind of marking out all the angles, getting them all set up, and then we'll take weld all these together and get out on the bike. but you know, grinder and paint. Um, yeah, it still needs to replicate this stuff on the uh, opposite side and weld in these pieces for tail light. So. Those look so sick. And, and then, you're doing a 3D printed tail light behind there? Yes, that is the idea. I might have to cast these lenses out of resin just to get it to fit properly. Otherwise, I'll print them oversize and then uh, sand them to fit. Cool. So, that's so the idea. So the subframe prototype is done and on the bike. Um, this looks incredible. Cal nailed it with this with this subframe. So looks really, really cool. These taillights I think are gonna pop quite a bit as well. So when he does like a 3D printed piece for in there, that'll look pretty sick. And then he kind of just made it incorporate the original latching system. So it'll have a keyhole eventually, but for now you just pull the cable, you can pop it up. And then it's got the latch here, 
um, that latch mechanism there. There will be some room for the battery and stuff like that in here right now. All the cables are kind of just stuffed in there. And then this, just a little hook there on the back. So this piece took a whole bunch of cutting and welding and grinding and everything like that. Cal was here for like, I mean, look at his face. It's covered, <laughs> it's covered in aluminum. So this was like kind of the design that Cal wanted to go with, which looks incredible, but it's like a whole bunch of work to make. So I know a bunch of people talked to me, a bunch of people talked about getting these made, um, a bunch of people wanting these for the second gen. Um, this is gonna be like way too much work to be able to manufacture a few of them just because it's so much welding um, and grinding. So we may do a simpler version, basically do the version that I have here on my bike and then just basically change the mounting points because this one's way easier. There's only like a couple of welds to weld the battery tray into there um, and weld these pieces together. So that one's way easier to manufacture. So um, whereas this one is just so many different pieces, it's much more complex. So I think we talked about what we're gonna do is if people do want like this version, the version that's on my bike, We'll do a pre-order or like a group buy of them. Um, I need people to email me. I'll put the, all the details in the description. Um, email me and then we'll talk about price. I'll see kind of like how much it would be. And then I'd take like a down payment from everybody who wants one and it would have to kind of work. Otherwise, we're probably just gonna stick with this one prototype. So yeah, let me know if you have a second gen SV650 and you want one of these, let me know. And I can kind of put together like a production group buy. Otherwise, we're just gonna stick with this one. Um, I think this one looks pretty incredible as it is. Really suits the the styling of the bike. Cal really wanted to add in like a lot of those angles to match the frame. So when we get do get a seat on there, that's gonna be looking incredible. So nice work, Cal. You nailed it.